This is actually, so I'm from Honolulu Harcourt, I'm Taylor, nice to meet you all. Um, and this is actually coming from David Wiesner, who's one of our three-time Caldecott winning authors. So he's very well known in the kids space, both with parents and educators. And he's sort of we've been working on this with him for about two years and probably since about May with the developer. Um, but he's had this idea since he was you know, 20 years ago at RISD as a student, um, this concept of nonlinear storytelling worlds within worlds. Um, and when the iPad came out, it sort of was this light bulb moment that he could actually bring this to life in an app. Um, so it's called Spot, and as you can see here, um, we have this bug, and as, as you pinch and zoom, um, you slowly enter the dashboard. So a bug becomes an island, and on the island is a castle. Transition through the window and you can see this, huh? this dashboard. Look at the smile. <laughs> Back to the book. Um, and so when you're on this dashboard, there'll be five everyday objects that are portals to different worlds. And in each world, you'll find those objects. So from every world, you can portal into a different world. So it's there's no structure to this. It's wordless. It just has sound. And it's up to the child to sort of explore and create their own story. Um, so if you zoom in on the pencil, the wood grain becomes ski slopes, and this is all sketched, but there'll be animations that happen throughout as you're transitioning, and the snowflake becomes a micro trip, which launches you into the robot world. Um, so there'll be five fully fleshed out worlds, um, again, there's no gaming, there's no levels, it's all just about exploring these different worlds, um, and you'll notice that the characters from all five worlds make appearances. So there's a cat world, this is the cat from that world, and there's this overarching story about spot travel, and so they're all in this ecosystem and they're all visiting each other's worlds. And you'll see little robots with gift bags, you know, from the cat world. <laughs> um, and so as I mentioned before, in all five worlds, there's a portal, and when you zoom in, you're transported to a different world. This is the app that just keeps on giving. <laughs> so I like to say it's you know one app, but endless stories at bedtime. And for the parents who don't want to you know come up with their own stories, we are going to be creating a guide as well that kind of gives more structure because it is very sort of play around and do whatever you'd like. But we're going to be creating a parent and a teacher guide of prompts that you could use in the classroom and that you could use you know at home. So this it started off as a cave and then it became a city. And then you get to this tiny door, and this is Tiny World, which is all underneath this chair. <laughs> and so these are aliens that are visiting from another world. You can see their travel, uh, their, their pictures from uh, their, their trips. Is it the little yes, dust bunnies? <laughs> um, the bouncy ball. And so. As I said, it's still very early, but you know there'll be a little scene on this newspaper, and that will be another portal into the cat parade world. And at any time, you can go back to the original dashboard here. Um, sorry. Oh, there's a bug in the upper right corner, and that always brings you back to the dashboard. And you will be able to um, zoom back out. Uh, that's being worked on, but that will be uh, an option as well. And I'll just quickly show you. The cat world, and this is all original artwork for this app by David Wiesner. Um, they can come in if they want. So um, there are certain characters from his other books that make appearances in here. So it's kind of a great cross sell with his, you know, his e-books and his physical books. But all of this has been, you know, imagined for this app. And it's interesting because you know, working in publishing, everything is always print first and then digital. And we've actually been thinking about <coughs> creating picture books based on these worlds. So it's sort of print books coming from a digital product. And so this is seemingly a city, but it's actually been taken over by cats. So this is Cat World. <laughs> and uh, this is the Cat Parade. <laughs> How do you come up with the names for the world? <laughs> well, actually, these are the, the not, these are the technical names. So oh, okay. there will be actual names. So that, I call it Robot World because that's what we've been calling it, but it's actually called Mechanicos, which you will see. So these are the robots with their little gift bag. <coughs> of uh, things they bought. What's this called again? It's called Spot. Spot. It's called Spot. And then you here you'll see the, uh, the new stand. This is where they're kind of promoting the other world. So you visit Mechanicos. Oh, okay. And then they 
other side is the space world. And then my favorite part of this world is the cat walking the corgi. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, there'll be little animations throughout, and then very quickly I can show a... So sound will be very important for us because we, it is word, wordless. So... Mm. So as you zoom in closer, the, it'll get louder. Interesting. Um, yeah. The so, the splicing on the fly. Thank you for that. Yeah. Or is it more? Yeah. Uh, there will be five complete worlds. So there'll be an underwater world and a space world um, <laughs> that will connect to these three. As well. Yeah. <laughs> so Taylor showed a spot last night. So if you guys are there, those that have spot, I see a lot of lasers clustering very quickly wow. and decisively in the eight to ten rate. Regent Scott. Well, we, we have a back to back winners today. It was a really great afternoon at Media Tech. It sure was. Yeah. Congratulations. You definitely have some. <laughs>